we want to determine each function value. We are given f of x equals two times e raised to the power of x plus two, which means to find f of one, we substitute one for x, which gives us two times e raised to the power of one plus two, which is equal to two times e cubed. And now we go to the calculator and round to four decimal places. We enter two, and then second ln, or second natural log, brings up e raised to the power of, and then we enter the exponent of three, and enter. And we're asked to round to the fourth decimal place, because we have a seven in the fifth decimal place, we round up. The value is approximately 40.1711. Next, we have f of negative two, which means we substitute negative two for x, which gives us two times e raised to the power of negative two plus two. Negative two plus two is zero, which gives us two times e to the zero power. e to the zero is equal to one, and two times one is equal to two. Next, we have f of negative four. So we substitute negative four for x, which gives us two times e raised to the power of negative four plus two. Negative four plus two is negative two, giving us two times e raised to the power of negative two. e to the power of negative two is equal to one over e squared. This simplifies to two times one over e squared, which is equal to two divided by e squared. And now we go back to the calculator. Two divided by second natural log, again brings up e raised to the power of, and then we enter two and enter. Running to the fourth decimal place, notice how we have a seven in the fifth decimal place. So again, we round up. The value is approximately 0 0.2707. Now we're given g of x equals six times e raised to the power of three minus x. To find g of negative four, we substitute negative four for x, which gives us six times e raise the power of three minus negative four. Three minus negative four simplifies to three plus four, which is seven, giving us six times e raise the power of seven. Going back to the calculator, six times e raise the power of seven, enter. And again, running to the fourth decimal place, notice how we have a five in the fifth decimal place, and therefore we round up, but because we have a nine to the left of the five, we would change the nine to a 10, so we keep the zero in this place value, perform an exchange with the one, adding the one to the eight, and the place value to the left, changing it to a nine, and therefore the value is approximately 6,579.7990. And we should keep the zero in the fourth decimal place, because it does indicate the value was rounded to the fourth decimal place. Next we have g of zero, which is equal to six times e raised to the power of three minus zero, which is six times e cubed. Six times e cubed, enter. Notice we have a two in the fifth decimal place, and therefore we round down, the value is approximately 120.5132. And then finally we have g of five. g of five is equal to six times e raised to the power of three minus five. Three minus five is equal to negative two, giving us six times e raised to the power of negative two, which is equal to six times one over e squared, which is equal to six divided by e squared. Going back to the calculator one last time, six divided by e squared gives us this decimal. Notice how we have a one in the fifth decimal place, and therefore we round down. The value is approximately 0 0.8120. I hope you found this helpful.